okay so welcome to the script academy today our topic is how to implement the flutter web view uh, for uh, without wasting the time let me tell you what i have created so far uh, i just have uh, created a folder and uh, in that folder i just have uh, a file which i have imported into the main screen uh, and the other file just have a uh, app bar in the ui part and uh, now let's go to the pubspec.yml i already have installed the latest version of webview flutter and uh, let me show you something okay so for to understand things better uh let's search out for things uh, if you can see this is the very latest version compatible with the, the dart 3 uh, okay there is some sample code um, to implement this package what you have to do uh, there are some default configurations for the android version uh, you just need to change the minimum sdk version to 19 and uh, also there are few changes into the dart api uh, like uh, there are some migrations uh, like there are some more API changes so you can read out them so and uh, but this is going to be very short video uh, where you can understand how we gonna like uh, implement the very simple web view into the app okay so let's start by doing configuration if I will come here uh, in the app folder there is a build.gradle file you can see to avoid other errors uh, I have changed the compiled SDK version to 33 and uh, the minimum SDK version to 21 it requires 19 but I have changed it to 21 uh, that will not cause some problem okay so let's start implementing directly I will come here I will uh, like uh, I will start implementing by creating controller of web view let's create that web view controller and that is going to be a controller and let's start assigning this controller web view controller this oh, what we are going to start it from here uh, to implement the web view we just have to implement uh, a way to place two dots and here I will call for the load I think this one okay so what it's gonna take it's gonna take the parsed uh, URL uh, the, the parsed URL is going to be URI dot parts and here I will provide like HTTPS slash slash www.google.com and uh, let's replace this body container with web view widget and the controller is already assigned sorry for this i just got a mistake now uh, let's restart the project it successfully uh, let me try some other web uh, let's do it for pub dot dev actually yeah actually the working is very smooth here you can see it's working okay so let me tell you a bit more about the webview controller dot dot 
I am going to have a very useful function here get navi set navigation delegate yeah this is that one so what I'm going to pass it navigation delegate yeah here it is. so we can perform so many functionalities with this navigation delegate like we can control the progress on progress on progress and uh, using the set navigation delegate we can control the progress like uh, how much time uh, it's gonna take to load the page like uh, this is going to be progress and we can do it later there are some more useful function like on on page started and on page finished but uh, also there is uh, for the errors uh, here are some things we can implement to uh, avoid the errors actually like this way but uh, there is uh, another function uh, on set the on navigation request uh, that what it takes it takes the request uh, why we are using this function uh, when there are some links to be restricted so we can use this function like uh, let me start implementing this function so if request dot url dot Uh, there are some, some patterns we can follow through like uh, we do in the strings ends with start widths and the contains like that that I'm, I'm asking it the starts with www.google.com maybe so what you have to do what it have to do actually uh, it should uh, navigate to some prevented link that uh, is going to be return um navigation decision uh, okay dot prevent link okay so that's all also what it needs you can also try some other things like start with uh, start with end with or something else and uh, uh, what uh, it needs now it needs what it needs yeah 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 it needs a, a default uh, route to be returned that is going to be navigation decision dot navigate and uh, we are done for this video also uh, if you like the video please share this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon thank you so much goodbye